So the new one, Legend difficulty has dropped in the game. This is the first Legend difficulty. It just gives me Max Mofo speaking Legend. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I hope it's hard. I mean, 60 stamina. That's ooh, that's already a kick in the nuts. Um, but it's the first final boss. I think it's fitting that the first final boss gets the first Legend difficulty. And first things first, you can already tell that this doesn't have a point system because there's no like leaderboards here. I think I haven't played it yet. I did see on Twitter uh, one of these Japanese uh, players that I follow did post a strategy using Red Golfer, Green Arthur, and Emilia. I'm sorry, uh, Elaine. I didn't say. I think the back end was Red Elizabeth. Uh, but you know, he does recommend these green units. What I want to see though. And I, I might lose my first attempt, and you see me losing. Can I just brute force this with this team? <laughs> Let's see. I see there's like some challenges. Um, and the challenges give gems. I actually, I should have actually looked into that, but I do want to see uh, if I can just brute force this with the one. That, <laughs> that's something that, I don't know. If you can, you can, you know? But... Level 9, I need the one. What I'm actually expecting is that he won't take that much damage from blue units. Okay. That doesn't seem that low, actually. Like, damage wise. Oh, he attack lowered me. Asteros is, <laughs> is commandment. <laughs> oh, Asker took a lot of damage. And he does have the ultimate already. So maybe I do need someone to take off the ultimate. Because he already has the ultimate. Okay, maybe I do need someone to take off ultimate gauge like Elaine. I should just go with the strategy I saw on Twitter. I don't understand what the red golfer part though. Maybe they just want to make like a showcase, like a free to play friendly type team. Yeah, he just one shots you, okay. Maybe he just wanted to show like a free to play friendly type team. Um... But yeah, let's let me let me put that team on. All right, we're back with this team. I did put like sorry, I'll link with Arthur, but I don't think they'll make a difference. I did realize that King wasn't actually uh, linked with my girlfriend. I think it was because uh, I had King on my team beforehand, and of course you can't use King against King. But let's just see how this will go. We got two rank. I, again, I, I'm wondering why that person wasn't using Red Girlfriend, but. That's fine. Maybe it does have to do with uh, maybe th maybe they did do something against like using Green Golf or maybe Green Golf takes more damage. I don't know. Mada Mada. This run King is not using two level threes back to back. That's good. Uh, he does get the ultimate though, but I will take it off. I mean, just. Elaine's not a character I use every day, right? Uh, <laughs> so, you do have the option to take it off either by using the single target and the AoE. Um, I'll just go with the AoE for now. Because you can, you know, use the single target to uh, de rank and that will take off the ultimate gauge as well, but it's whatever. Take it off. And. I mean, maybe the damage reduction from Arthur is the reason why I use him. Having no point system, that really opens up, um, you know, options, really, for what units you can use. So maybe, instead of Arthur, I could have brought Estorosa, and that would have been, like, a really good option as well. I don't know. By the way, my <laughs> lane is 1-6. Um, I've never given her a dupe, and I haven't pulled her since forever. Also, my Arthur is 3-6, um, so, you know, I, mean, for, I, I, don't, I don't see any reason to use uh, Red Gopher over the, over the green one. Of course, if you don't have Green Gopher, right, you use the, uh, the one that's available to you, but the green one's doing just fine. 
Okay, I don't. I don't think I kill him with Elaine. That's fine. One more turn. Uh, he's not really doing that much damage. Like my my uh, Elaine and Arthur are both super and four, uh, just because <laughs> I don't have resources. Like I don't. I, me, money spender doesn't have resources to super and five my green Arthur. It's uh, it's it sure is something. But all right. Let's uh let's finish him off. I'll rank up Arthur actually. Let me get the Elaine ult and get the uh, the Arthur attack in. I was hoping. Uh, I mean, I was I was expecting not really hoping, but I was expecting Arthur to actually lead to finish. But with the Elaine ult. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he takes it off. Uh, I mean, that's smart, you know, making the battle a little more challenging. You can't just move over if you're ultimate. That does make sense. I do want to try out using uh, Asterosa, though. Instead of Arthur. Because, again, this is a strategy I know would work, but... Aster I mean, I love Asterosa, you know. He is doing quite a bit of damage, though. You know. Yeah. That, that crit certainly hit, though. That, that crit certainly hit, but... Oh, I want, I want to know. Um, does King do extra damage against demons? I'm going to assume so. If it is the case, then maybe I start using the greatest. If he doesn't, though... You know what? <laughs> Assault melee build might hit. If he if he doesn't assault melee build might hit, or if he you know simply doesn't take off buffs and everything. Let's uh, rank up Arthur again. With level three, take off the ultimate gauge, and we should be good. That that should be it. Since there's no point system, you can just beat him uh, and just get the the points and you know use the shop and everything like that. The shop is the same as usual, you just have, you know, your options. You have uh, some upgraded materials for costumes, you have some... Uh, some uh, purple stones and everything like that. It's not like nothing crazy, it's really nothing crazy. They didn't really go above and beyond with this uh, super boss difficulty or anything like that. Well, that was legend, whoa! Um... 72 coins, and I did get, for being the first time, the King Crown? And I did get the gems, I think. I'm gonna <laughs> check that out right here. It's in the... it's in the... Here? No. I don't know where... I saw it on the tweet. I don't know where... oh, it's here. Okay, so... Yeah, you do need to do, like these missions. You get five gems in total. It's nothing uh, crazy, right? Um, but yeah, the shop is just usual shop. You see it every time, you know. You get ten hammers. You can buy two a day. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you can buy anvils and stuff. Twenty times five. It's it's a hundred. Um, yeah, just. <laughs> Cool difficulty again. Let me try Asterosa. I hope this will work. Let me put HP for it again. HP seemed to work. I did almost die at one point with the Arthur team there, I think. But it was okay. If I if I had Red Golfer, I guess I would have been doing a little less damage, but it's not gonna be that, that noticeable really. I, I wanna wait for a level 3 counter, although. Um, maybe rank ups in the lane are needed. Or I could use Green Merlin in the front to take off ultimate gauge, huh? That's definitely also an option. But I do have two rank ups. So there's that. Oh, that's nice. The first hit gets him um, attack lowered. Nice. Okay, so. Let's rank up Asterosa. I kind of want to rank up Elaine. 
just to make sure the next turn I have a takeoff ult mid-gage as well. Hopefully next turn I'll get another uh, rank up. Hopefully. I did, that's very good. <laughs> uh, this, this, this is starting to seem very uh, troubling, you know, not very worth it. Jesus tutorials and everything like that. Um, I don't have to take off ultimate gauge, but that's fine with uh, the lane cards there. Let's just do this. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna level 3 counter in. Okay, okay. The moment of truth. The attack lowerings are annoying though on Gopher and the lane and stuff like that. Very annoying. Look on that. Uh, that, that really does not <laughs> do that much damage. I guess he has like reduced damage taken from counters. It could be for sure. A lot of bosses have that these days because they know if we don't do that, people are going to run them over with Astoros, all right? So I guess the Astoros exper experiment didn't work as well as I was hoping. Uh, maybe Assault Melee could work well though. Yeah, I believe... They, I think this uh, this boss did have that back in the day as well, right? Because they wanted to uh, make sure that counter melee wheelers wouldn't just beat it so easily. I don't know. I think I can still beat this with Mr. Rosa though. But yeah, for sure, um, not the best option. <laughs> Definitely not the best option. Oh wow, he's already starting with level 3s. I should derank that. You know what? I'll derank it twice. So it becomes level 1s. That worked, right? I believe so. I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah, level 1s, Pog. I got level 3 counter too. Uh, I don't think he's gonna get the ultimate, so I can just freely use it. Nice. Yeah, with him attack lord, it's actually not that bad, because, you know, he only cleanses after the turn is done. It's actually not that bad, using Astoril, so it's definitely the greatest option, though. <laughs> but I don't think it's that bad. Okay, we got our uh, Elaine cards as well, for the next turn. He's gonna attack me three times, so... That's nice. I'm gonna get three counters in. And after the first hit, he gets attack weaken. I don't know, man. Astoros is kind of, you know, seeming a little positive here. You know, Fudu Kaunta. Fudu Kaunta. Oh, look at that. No, no. I might be biased because I like Astoros. I might be biased just because I really like Astoros. Look at that damage, man. Look at that. Nah, Astoros is the best. Nah, I take what I, take what I say back. Use a Sarosa. Trust. Trust. He's the, he's the man. He's the god. Estorosa. Look at him. Ah. Oh, literal god. 